Okay, guys. Um, so one of the things that you'll have to do on your test too, and as a lookout, which is one of the things that you first get, um, uh, one of your first jobs when you get on the boat is to break in as a lookout on the vessel. We want to talk about reporting contacts and where you're looking at to find um, things on the horizon or vessels that we're going to encounter, objects in the water and that stuff. So on test two, we're going to ask you to do one of these diagrams. So let's talk about um, what we're actually looking for here. So um, in the civilian merchant mariner world, in some of the cases, they actually use what are called points, right? And there's 32 points in a compass, 11.25 um, to make up the entire compass of 360. When we talk about this, we're talking about points off of respective things. So one point on starboard bow, we're talking about starboard bow broad, forward of the starboard beam, abaft of the starboard beam, broad on the um, starboard quarter, and then quarters. So we're talking about that in this instance here. We'll, we'll start with that, okay? So again, a stern or the stern, so that this was directly off the stern or dead ahead. Those are pretty self-explanatory. These aren't gonna be an exact science for you, right? You're gonna have a field open of different points for you to look at. So if I'm on the bow, I've got starboard bow watch, and I'm looking out here, I got one point on the starboard bow. So I'm reporting a contact. Captain, I have one, a contact, uh, one point on starboard bow, right? And then how far is it away? A lot of people have problems judging that distance, and if you're at sea, that's a lot harder to say, unless you know what the height of the horizon is and um, that respective thing, but it, that will come with experience, right? Um, I always tell students that distances are, you may be off on your distances, but if the captain sees what you're talking about, you're definitely uh, on the right track, right? So if you were saying, hey, I got a contact and he's 800 yards away, but he's really, you know, 500 yards away and the captain sees him, yes. If you say, captain, I have a contact that's 17 miles away and he's actually five miles away, the captain might not be looking at five miles. He might be trying to look out at 17 miles or so on and so forth. So when you were reporting that, you wanna do your best job of reporting the distance, but it's not always gonna be perfect. So when we're going on this, and, and this all comes right from the center, by the way, of the vessel on the beam, but uh, we're talking about dead ahead. One point on the starboard bow, two points on the starboard bow, three points off the starboard bow, four points or broad on the starboard beam, three points forward of the starboard beam, right? So if this is starboard beam, we're three points forward of that, two points forward of that, one point forward, a vessel obviously on our starboard beam. Then we go with the abaft, right? So abaft or after of the beam, one point abaft of the starboard beam, two points abaft of the starboard beam, three points abaft of the starboard beam, or four points or broad on the starboard quarter, okay? We talked about, these are the quarters right here of the vessel, right? So we're coming into this quarter section here now of the quarter of the vessel, right? Three points on the starboard quarter, two points on the starboard quarter, one point on the starboard quarter. It applies both port and starboard, right? And the idea is to be in the, have your report in an accurate or almost accurate representation of this. Now, I came from the military where we learned degrees um, on relative varying in degrees, and we could talk about that in a minute, but this is one of the things that you'll have to know, all of these um, different points and where they are relative on the starboard side. And of course, obviously, like I said, they translate to the port side too, um, just flip-flopped, okay? So if I have a vessel over here, right? Depending on how far that vessel is, I may report him to be two points on uh, back to the starboard beam, okay? 
Or if I have a vessel over here, I have a vessel four points or broad on the starboard beam, okay? And depending on which direction he's headed, that will help the captain assess what he needs. Um, I just added this um, relative bearing here. When we're talking about relative bearing and degrees, right? We know that there's 000, 090, which would be on our beam, 180, which would be on a stern or on our stern, and 270, which would be, um, sorry, on our port side um, of the vessel. We're because we're assume we're making our vessel to be this, right? So 000 is right off our bow, 180 is right off our stern, 090 would be off our starboard side, and 270 would be off our port side as relative bearing to the vessel, right? So in this instance. If I had a vessel that was right here, you know, if I go 000, 010, 020, 30, 40, 50, 60, start going around, I can tell, or 04, I might say, hey, Captain, I have a vessel bearing 045, right? He knows that 045 is gonna be off his starboard side. He's gonna know to look in that direction and then how far it is, and so far. Sometimes you get people that will mix these up um, for school and for the practical purposes of testing what the required um, requirements are for the Coast Guard. We're going to use this point system of one point on the starboard bow, two points on the starboard bow, three points on the starboard bow. You may go out to your vessel and they're like, what are you talking about? I have no idea. What is it in degrees? Or, hey, it's over there. It just depends on the experience of your crew, of the vessel you're on and how they operate. Um, but for here, for the school purposes, these are the ones you need to know. This is what you might find out there in the fleet, um, breaking these down into the 32 points, um, 11.25 to get all the way around the compass. All right. Um, but relative bearing is always taken from the bow. So whichever way our vessel turns, our relative bearing is also with that, right? So now this, if we were headed in this direction and this was 000 and this is 1802700090, now when I turn, this is going to be 000, right? 090180270. Any way I turn that vessel, the relative bearing applies to on the vessel. You guys can go ahead and review that. Also, I put in the um, I put in the packet there diagrams of this that you can label. You can practice labeling it so you can memorize it and learning those, um, these what, 14 uh, that are on here. So, great. All right, guys, thanks.